This episode is brought to you by Marvel Studios Echo. All episodes streaming January 9th, only on Hulu and Disney+. Plus. Rated TVMALV. Viewer discretion advised. Maya Lopez has betrayed her mentor, the notorious Kingpin. Now on the run, she returns to her hometown to prepare for the biggest fight of her life. Don't miss Marvel Studios' hardest-hitting series yet. An epic five-episode event. Marvel Studios Echo. All episodes streaming January 9th, only on Hulu and Disney+. Plus. Hello, beautiful. You haven't been sleeping very well, have you? Don't look so surprised. I just know things about you. I hope we can fix that, if only for tonight. I want you to know I'm here to help you. You can relax now. Picture your worries melting into a puddle of warm clay that I will rework with my words and you'll come out of this more at ease. You'll sleep easier. Maybe your mind will be clear enough to figure out the answers to a question or a choice you've been stuck on. Time to unstick, to unwind. I'd like you to breathe in deeply. So deeply, you feel the air fill your body and your belly rises. I want you to picture that in each deep breath is the peace you deserve. Now, breathe out slowly through your mouth. Out comes the anxiety of the day, the chaos clouding your mind. Now, in once again, peace, relaxation, safety, and out. There goes the cacophony of noise in your head. With each breath out, you may even find yourself making a slight sigh or moan as your body becomes more relaxed. That is perfectly normal and may even add to the feeling of your conscious mind unwinding. Now, once more, in, one, two, three, four, and out, one, two, three, four, good. Try to keep that slow and measured breathing as we journey together to a different plane of existence. Are you ready to take my hand and come with me? Picture in your mind that we stand in front of a door. Do you see the door? I want to take you to the beach. So when you open that door, we will not be here where you are now. You will look down at your feet and see yourself standing on sand. Now, grab the handle and open the door. Here we are, on a cold and dreary beach. There's a layer of fog. The sun is nowhere to be seen behind the clouds. 
and there's a cold chill in the air. Can you smell that briny water? You feel the salty haze stick to your face as we walk through the fog together. I wanted to show you something. While you were away, I found a strange cave. It's just up ahead. Let's keep going. There. Now you can start to make out its shape through the fog. Isn't it creepy? Its opening looks like the gaping maw of a sea monster. Low tide is lazily flowing in and out through the rocky mouth. Looks like it's full of secrets. Should we find out what's inside? I agree. Just watch those rocks. They're slippery. Do you see that opening right there? I know, it seems like you won't fit, but it's bigger than it looks. Let's go. I bet we find something interesting. Have I ever led you into a dangerous situation? Don't answer that. I promise this time, it's fine. No, just turn sideways and scooch. Oh, that is a pretty tight fit. No, you aren't stuck. Let's not panic. It's going to be fine. Just do a big exhale. Ready? Now slide. Great. You're past it. Now a big inhale. It seems we've found an inner chamber of the cave. It's huge. It smells like algae and rotting wood in here. Oh my god. Do you see what I see? An entire ship. A Spanish galleon, if I'm not mistaken. Across that cenote of deep black water. This is from the time of pirates and stolen gold. Stick to the rocks. Don't go in the water. Why? Well, do you see how the water moves? There's something under there, and it's too dark to see what it is exactly. It looks to be attached to that chain coming from the boat. Stand back, it's beginning to surface, it's... a mermaid. Her eyes pale from the dark of the cave. Her skin iridescent and slick. Her clawed and webbed hands cling to the slimy rocks. I can't decide if she's... repulsive or... enchanting. What is she to you? Horrific? Or... Strangely... Alluring? She's chained to the ship's anchor. Captured and cursed by the pirates to guard their bounty. I'm sure that water is full of hundreds of years of bones. From the treasure seekers who tried to take whatever it is they hid, or even from curious explorers who just happened to stumble upon her lair. Oh yes, just like us. Don't worry, you don't seem the type to be blinded by greed to the point of walking willingly to your death. But 
What do you think is in the ship? The usual gold and jewels could be, or maybe something more, something worth more than money. There are many ways to be wealthy, my friend. Maybe it's the key to immortality, or will grant you your true love. Maybe it's the answer to all the mysteries of the world, scrolls from the great library of Alexandria, perhaps. It is intriguing. She's pulling herself up to the rocks. She's so emaciated. She can almost slip through her cruel bindings. A rusty chain rubs sores into the skin around her thin ribs. Her tail, once magnificent to behold, is now sick looking, shedding scales, its edges lined with rot and covered in a mysterious ick. Uh, I think, I think she's going to speak. Under the wide and starry sky, dig the grave and let me die. Glad did I live and gladly die, and I laid me down with a will. This be the verse you grave for me. Here he lies, where he longed to be. Home is the sailor, home from the sea, and the hunter, home from the hill. She's calling to you. Don't listen. She is a siren, after all. You'll start to feel as though you're drifting off to a sweet slumber. And that's when she'll strike. You'll be hypnotized. Your feet will move as your brain tells you you're in a dreamland. The sea is calm tonight. The tide is full. The moon lies fair. Upon the straits on the French coast the light gleams and is gone. The cliffs of England stand, glimmering and vast, out in the tranquil bay. Ah, love, let us be true to one another for the world which seems to lie before us like a land of dreams, so various so beautiful, so new, hath really neither joy, nor love, nor light, nor certitude, nor peace, nor help for pain. And we are here, as on a darkling plain, swept with confused alarms of struggle and flight, where ignorant armies clash by night. No. Don't go, she's tricking you. You're falling asleep. Your eyes are so heavy. Please, stop listening. Plug your ears, do anything. Stop, my friend. Please, I warned you. The ocean has its her. silent caves. Deep, quiet, and alone. Though there be fury on the waves, beneath them there is none. The awful spirits of the deep hold their communion there. And there are those for whom we weep, the young, the bright, the fair. Calmly the wearied seamen rest beneath their own blue sea. The ocean solitudes are blessed, for there is purity. The earth has guilt, the earth has care. Unquiet are its graves, but peaceful sleep is ever there beneath the dark.